what's going on guys welcome back to the channel i'm doing this a little bit later on in the day i was supposed to record this earlier today but i had to run out and do something so this might not even come out until later today i was planning to do four episodes but now i have to reduce it to two if i want to get out something today <laughs> so um so yes yeah, so i'm gonna only be doing two episodes today i wanted to do four um but something came up i had to leave my house so um appreciate y'all i appreciate y'all okay i appreciate y'all but anyways um you know let's not waste any time because i don't really have to think of times if i want to get these episodes out it's got to be a short intro so if you don't know what's going on go back and watch the <laughs> other reactions whatever but i'm pretty sure you guys know what's going on so let's just jump into it and i will see you guys for the review Hey, welcome back guys welcome back this is the haiku review i mean as i said man this anime is a very feel feel good anime there's a lot of lessons to learn from this anime too um and that's what i love about sports anime that's why hajime no ippo is in my top three animes that i've watched you know um you know it's just you know, there's no deep story here, but there's a lot to learn. It's the same experience that I'm having with Demon Slayer. It's, it's just the same. It's the same experience. So it's like they're not necessarily deep story wise, but they're so feel good. You watch them and you're, and you're like, man, you know what I'm saying? I wish I was, <laughs> you know, you wish you was among these people because you know what I'm saying? Like the, the positivity, the, the, you know what I'm saying? Um, going through that with someone else, and you know that team atmosphere. You know, in in in, in Ippo, you know you have Takamura, you have Aoki, you have um, I can't remember Kimura, right? So you have these characters, right? And it just goes to show you that you know you, you just want to wish you were among them because there's such they rag on each other but at the same time there's such there's such there's this atmosphere of team now in business i do the same because 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 i've watched anime you get what i'm saying i do the same i treat my team the same we rag on each other you know what i'm saying regardless of if i'm the boss or not i still treat my teammate like you know they're a part of something that's greater than the, the you know than us doing it you know what i'm saying so um if we want to get there we gonna get there together it's not gonna be an individual thing business is not an individual sport and i tell people this all the time and people people think i'm joking when i say that business is is a team sport it is a team sport you know and i apply the same things that i've learned throughout the years playing sports you know in my earlier years in business you know because i want him to understand the the feeling of camaraderie the feeling of of being there for each other when one person fails or the other fails it's not about you know you coming down on that person oh you made that mistake buddy. yeah you we all gonna acknowledge a mistake because it affects us all so it affects the entire team when one person make a mistake so you can't single that person out so when it comes on to this anime there's a lot of those lessons that you get through watching through seeing these guys coming together at their weakest points kageyama being benched you know um probably the first time he's ever being benched ever you know so um, that was the best thing that the coach could have ever done in that point because he, he started to, to think about himself and I didn't even realize that he wasn't really talking to anybody. I didn't even realize that until they said it when Hinata said it to him. I didn't even realize that he wasn't actually vocalizing anything. He was just in his head so much. He wasn't communicating with his team and that's one of the things when it comes on to, to team sports. Communication is key like you don't understand it's like a relationship on the court off the court whatever the situation is but when you're when you're there 
You get what I'm saying? When you're there, you 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 want to be communicating. You want to be communicating constantly because that way you'll know that you have people behind you. And I think he he forgot that for a little bit, but now he's back in. So we're going to get to see that in the next episode. This is where I'm, you know, we got, I, I don't know if this, I don't, I, I, I don't know if they're going to lose this match. I don't know. I don't know. At this moment, the match is like, it's like on the brink. I think they're going to win the second set. I think this is the match that, that continues for the rest of the season because it's only like, I think this goes to 25 episodes for the first season. So I think this maybe has probably around two or three more, um, you know, two or three more episodes to go before the end of this match. Um, but I can't tell, I can't tell who's going to win. Of course, I'm, I'm behind Carlos and I want to see them win, you know, but if they lose this, it's no biggie because I know they're going to stick together. You get what I'm saying? I know they're going to stick together. At least I can count on that. So I don't have to worry about somebody leaving the team. I don't think anybody on the team right now would want to leave. Um, even if they lose this match, because it's an official match. You know what I'm saying? It's their first goal at it, their first tournament since they put this team together with all these great first years that they have, you know, so we'll see how things go. Of course, um, Oikawa is a beast, so I got to give him props. He's a beast. He's somebody to be not necessarily feared, but at least respected. You get what I'm saying? His game is on point. He keeps his calm. But as I said before, it's easy to keep your calm when you're winning. You know what I'm saying? When you're winning, it's easy to keep your calm. You know, I want to see him down by 10 points and see how he reacts. If he's still going to be that calm, you know what I'm saying? Then I can put him in, in, in that retrospect of being way more mature over Kageyama because Kageyama right now, I mean, he's a first year. I don't, I think Oikawa is a second year. I think he's a second year on Obajosai, right? I think so. So, um, in terms of how things are going to turn out, I, I have no clue, but I have to give him respect. He commands his team, you know, they, they, they do, um, they do show a sense of camaraderie, just like Karasuno does. Um, there's, there's some slight differences, but I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's some slight differences, but I see why they have confidence in each other. They might go about it a different way, but they're a team. They're a team to be reckoned with. They're a team to be respected. So I got to give them that. So in any case, man, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to leave a comment on the video. Subscribe if you're new. I'm looking forward to seeing more Haikyuu. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.